Hello, this is Donovan with Beeswax. In this video, I am going to introduce you to a utility that has changed my life as a developer. So let's jump into FileMaker. We have here a common situation. I'm just concatenating two fields. Simple enough. And this is the standard calculation dialog. It does a lot for us, but sometimes it just doesn't do enough. If I want to use more code than this, it begins to get difficult to read and format. And so what I like to do is use a service down here and pull my text into a text editor and here we have a lot of power and this is where the magic starts this is TextMate a very popular text editor on the Mac and one of its biggest pluses is its extensibility and if you look in its bundles you can see packages that add support for all sorts of languages and down here we have FileMaker if you look, you can see we have some support for calculations, we have support for generating calculations, and similarly we have support for working with objects on FileMaker's clipboard, for generating objects for FileMaker's clipboard. And by that I mean FileMaker objects that we can just copy and paste right into our files. And we'll show that in some later podcasts, it's pretty cool. There's also support for working with the DDR, for working with logs, like the import.log files that FileMaker spits out when you import scripts, things like that. There's also support for a bunch of code snippets. You can see all the standard FileMaker functions in here. Down near the bottom, there's even a help command that documents some of this functionality. So let's jump back to our calculation and see what we can do. Let's try throwing this into a let statement. You can see I just typed let in tab and that triggered my code snippet and ex expanded the code for me. I can begin filling in these parameters and just tabbing through them. It's pretty quick. So I'll, I can do the same thing with case. Whoops, that didn't work there. And it expands it for me. Let's pick on Vince here. Keep tabbing through. There. Now, sometimes we don't use the rest of those parameters, so we can just clear those out. And that's all we need to do. We can just simply copy and come back to FileMaker, paste it in, see what we got. Oops, there's a trailing semicolon there. It's that easy. And the calculation is formatted. I think that's a great plus, but let's go back into TextMate and see what else we can do. You might notice on the top line there's no spacing. I see that in some people's code, but I find it difficult to read. So there's a tidy command in this bundle. I can press Control shift h and boom, it's added the spacing for me. That's nice. Now let's try adding some more functions. Let's play with an object. Get layout object attribute is a very powerful function, but remembering the name, let alone typing it, is a bit tricky. I also might not know what the trigger is for expanding that code snippet. So I'm going to use another little shortcut here that pulls up a search window. And I can search for the word attribute. Now this will show me all my snippets and commands using the word attribute. You can see right at the top here we have a logical function called get layout object attribute. That's perfect. So I'll just throw that in there and it threw the code in for me. Object name call that my object. This next parameter shows me all my options, things I can retrieve about that object. I'm going to say bounds. And I can clear those next parameters because they're not relevant here. That's a pretty quick way to add in my function, but even still I might not be clear on what's going on with that function, so I can go control H and pull up the help. That's pretty fast and easy. It shows me everything I need to know about this function. I can also go back and browse for a different function if maybe I actually needed something else. We can close and come back here and I find that working and creating functions is very fun in this way because it's just so easy to have something that's clean and readable and something I can really feel proud sharing. But let's see what it looks like in some bigger functions. It really starts to become useful here. You see there's a custom function that generates some Apple script 
Now here with the formatting, it's easier to read, but we get down in here in some thick text and it's still difficult. So I'm going to use a shortcut to tell TextMate that this is a FileMaker file. You can see down here, the language is designated as plain text. So I'm going to tell it this is FileMaker. It gives me my syntax highlighting. And I can come down here and my functions, my calculations pop right out at me. It's a lot more readable. Similarly, long functions like error text is pretty much a huge dictionary. But now it's pretty easy to read. And more complex calculations like this one, it generates a file path. And with all these case statements, it would probably end up looking a bit thick and difficult to read in FileMaker. But here we have indentation. And we can even bring it in and out really easily in the text editor. We can also just comment out and bring back in big chunks of code really easily. And so that's some of the fun of working with FileMaker calculations in TextMate. Thank you for listening, and I hope you'll join us for future screencasts that demo even more of the functionality. Thank you, and happy file making.